Wave. Tapped in. Lately, my life had a fast man, but it's ass plan. Fight for my life with the brass hands, and I still ball with a bad hand. Got an aerial point of view, but they'll never see the big picture through zoom lens. From the quicksand, make it push start. Type of bands cool, but the tent plan. I'm back on my bender rolls for the kicks. They quit to give two cents. Put my circle tight like we glued hands. Like I don't believe in new friends. Trail light, I know the ice thin. I drop the song, get a few wins. I crave the comfort in my own skin. Really, I just want to feel the world spin. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to animate in Adobe Premiere Pro. But before we actually get into that, I know it's been a few weeks since I've uploaded a video, but there is a good reason for that, I promise. Uh, the reason for that is because I was creating my company called Cinematic Creator, which I launched in the beginning of 2021. We've created effects, overlays, cinematic LUTs, transitions for all of you guys just to up your production at a click of a button. All you do is just drag and drop it over your footage and boom, you're all set to go. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to use our animated brush effects pack in Adobe Premiere Pro. It's super easy to do, let's jump into it. All right guys, so once you download our pack, you should have a zip file. You're gonna unzip the file and then you'll have this folder here. You're just gonna take the folder and drop it into your project panel. Um, I've already done that, so I don't need to do that. These are the clips that we're gonna be working with today. So there's just three of them. I'm gonna show you guys how to use these effects. And uh, yeah, it's really, really easy. It's all it is, is just simple keyframing, guys. All right, so right here, we're gonna come over to the left-hand side under our project panel, and we're gonna drag one of our effects and just drop it right on top of our footage, just like that. The um, animations are actually really big. I did that on purpose because I wanted you to be able to scale it up as big or as small as you want without losing any quality. So right here, we're just gonna scale it down and we're gonna actually place it where we want it. So right here, I'm just gonna put it on top of his head, move it over a bit, and yeah, that looks pretty good. So we're gonna drag this to the front of the clip here. And now if I play it through, you'll see that it doesn't track to his head. It kinda just floats around on the screen. Uh, to get it to track to his head is actually really easy to do. What we're gonna do here is we're just going to click on the clip and we're gonna turn on position and scale. You're gonna click on these little stopwatches right here and it should create these little keyframes. All right, so now we're just gonna position this crown on top of his head so it stays on top of his head. So right here, I'm just gonna move it over a bit and then um, once I like where it's at, I'm gonna move the clip forward and then I'm gonna come back over and move it back to the right. So right there, looks pretty good. And now I'm just gonna scale it down a little bit more just because we're getting closer to him so the object should be getting smaller. And let's go a little bit further in time. And yeah, that looks pretty good to me guys. So it's really that simple. All you do is just drag it on top of your footage, uh, create some keyframes, to have it track to your object. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the next clip. The next clip is just him kind of doing this fire shot um, motion. So I'm gonna drag the pistol effect on top of the footage, and we're gonna turn his hand into a gun. So as you know before, the clip's really big, so we're gonna make it smaller. And then right when he does the gun movement, I'm gonna put the pistol right on top of his hand. So it just brings more uh, life to the clip and it kind of makes it more visually stimulating to your viewers. So right here, I'm just gonna rotate it a little bit so it kind of matches up with his hand. Then I'm gonna push it up and get it right on top of his hand. But just like that. All right, and then once you like where it's at, that is when you are ready to set the keyframes. So right there looks pretty good to me. Uh, maybe just, uh, actually, no, that's perfect. That's fine. So now once we have it all set, we're just gonna come over to the left-hand side and we're gonna put on position, scale, and for this one, we're actually gonna turn on rotation as well. So now we're just gonna move a little bit forward in time and follow his hand. I'm gonna speed this up so you guys don't have to sit through it the whole time, uh, just me keyframing. So here we go. All 
All right, and it's all done. All right, so it's a pretty quick animation just to bring a little bit extra flair to your clip. So boom, all you see is a little flash of a gun right there. It follows his hand. Uh, we can make this a little bit better. So these clips are all stackable, obviously, because they are transparent backgrounds. So right here, I'm gonna grab the pop effect and we're gonna use it as a muzzle flash. All right, now we're just gonna bring this down a little bit and we're gonna rotate it. And once we rotate it, we're gonna make it look like it's coming out of the front of the animation. So I'm just gonna put it right into the front and then we are gonna start the keyframing. So we're gonna turn position and scale on again. And now we're just gonna move forward in time and I'll speed this up for you guys. And just like that, it is finished guys. Look how much better that looks. It adds so much more effects to the clip and I just think it personally looks really awesome. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the next clip. The next clip is him kind of just standing there talking to the crowd. So for this one, I'm actually gonna put the bat wings on the back of him. So right here, we're just gonna drag this over and obviously scale it down because it's really, really big. And then once we do that, we're just gonna do the same process we've done for all the rest of the clips, which is keyframe this to follow his body. So I'm gonna get it to where I want it and once you have the effect or animation where you want it, that is when you wanna set your keyframes. So you get it to the size and position and location where you want it and then set your keyframes. So right here looks good to me. And now I'm gonna set my position and scale. And now I'm just gonna add the keyframes guys to follow his body. And it's that simple guys. If you guys wanna try out these effects, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below for you guys to try them out yourselves. Wave, tapped in. Lately my left had a fast man, but it's ass plan. Fight for my life with the brass hands and I still ball with a bad hand. Got an aerial point of view, but they'll never see the big picture through zoom lens. And the quicksand, make it push start, type of band's cool, but the tent plan. I'm back on my bending rolls for the kicks. They quit to give them two cents. Put my circle tight like we glued hands. Like I don't believe in new friends. Trail light, I know the ice then. I drop the song, get a few wins. I crave the comfort in my own skin. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on the bell notification. I just want to give a big shout out to all the subscribers and I will see you guys next week. I'm out.